He provoked us to anger with the foolish nation because we decided to go off and not keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Now, if you're asking, what, what was your question? I'm saying because I, you made an assumption that I didn't understand or know what went wrong, and I just wanted to correct you on that. I actually do. That's why I'm saying I wanted to actually get the process moving forward into the solution. Because the law is solution with everything has a negative. Right. 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 Somebody give me that in uh, Isaiah. Give me that. Give me that in Isaiah. You know what the solution was in terms of like everything as the world is as the world is being destroyed, things have to be rebuilt. Do we? Well, 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 the other, 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 the let me get that in Isaiah chapter 60, start at 10. Bring it out. Okay. So you got to understand, all of the stuff that, that's going to, everything is already here. Like, you see the way they built up this kingdom? They're going to be building up our kingdom the same way. Okay? Because we're going to have them working. All right? No, physically, they're going to be working. Spiritually, the spirit, the spirit is the word, brother. The spirit is the word. All right? So under the under the spirit of the world, they're gonna be physically working. That's right. All right. I mean, because we're gonna be in rulership, somebody gotta do the work. Yeah, bro. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter sixty, verse ten. Yeah. And the sons of the strangers shall build up thy wall. The sons of thy strangers shall do what? Shall build up thy wall. You know, brother, the sons of the strangers, these other nations are going to build up our kingdom, brother. That's what it means when it says build up our walls. Okay, we're not going to have to do that kind of stuff because we labor for them. Okay, so everything has to be reversed. So, brother, it, it, the, 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 the answer is they're one and the same, brother. You, it's like you're trying to run loops around the answer that you're being given. I'm trying to tell you that these people have to serve us, brother. That, that, that's all that matters. Spiritually and physically. And their kings, and their kings shall minister unto thee. You just misunderstand, brother. That's what it is. You don't want to understand. I honestly, you really don't because what I'm trying to tell you is the word is being given. We're giving it to you from the book. You're, you're saying that the book is spiritual. So if we're giving you a word from the book and you're trying to talk over the book, what does that tell me? That, that, what that tells me is the discernment, my discernment is that you're not really trying to hear and that you really want you really want a white wife or a Chinese wife or somebody in the kingdom and you're trying to say you don't need to say I'm not trying to insult you, but that's, that's discernment, brother. That's the discernment. Read, hold on, read. The world is coming out. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. So the Bible says, in his mercy he smote us. But in his, in his, he's going to have favor upon us in his mercy. Read. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night. Read that again. They shall not be shut day nor night. That's right. So so our gates are not going to be shut because we're going to be delivering these wicked ass kings, which is the people that's ruling and rulership, the politicians, right. your presidents. You know what I'm saying? All, all these different kingdoms where you have these uh, people in rulerships, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be taking them and bringing them into captivity. That's right. All right? Along with their military right. and their mighty men and everything else. Read. Really? That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. Read. And that their kings may be brought. So, so the kings, the kings of these other nations are going to be brought to us, all right? They're going to be put into captivity, okay? So when they ask, when, when the questions is being asked, 
Are they going to build up? Who's going to build up our kingdom and all of this? These other nations are going to build up the kingdom. Right. Hold the hold your question, brother. Let me finish this. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Read that again. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Nah, they're going to live forever and they're going to rule over. Shall perish. Uh, the Bible says the nation and kingdom that will not serve us shall perish. Right. This is what's going to be in the new kingdom when we are in rulership. So y'all have to enjoy it. Enjoy our kingdom now. We That's want right. y'all to enjoy our kingdom now. Enjoy it. Live it up. Be the best uh, that you could be. All right? Mr. White Man, be the best that y'all could be right now because this is y'all kingdom. Okay? Y'all supposed to love it. All right, because this place is going to be destroyed. That's right. All right, right? and when it get destroyed, it's never going to return again. That's right. Y'all should rise up again. Let me get that in Isaiah 14 and 21. Okay, y'all should never rise again. That's right. Huh. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Yeah. Prepare slaughter for his children. The Most High says, prepare slaughter for your children. Right? So you gotta enjoy your kingdom now. Enjoy your hands. For the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Right, so you're not gonna be able to fill the face of the world with cities no more like how y'all got here. Like the like the song that just played, New York. You know that song, right? So this stuff is not going to be no more. You know what I mean? That, that, this is going to be brought down. So y'all have to enjoy this. Because y'all are wicked. As a nation of people, y'all are wicked. So the Most High has to bring them down so that way his people can rule. Which is the blacks, Native Americans, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Hispanic. Of That's, right. Descent. That's right. That's right. All right. We're going to rule next. All right. Kwame Ashala. Kwame Ashala. Kwame Ashala. Kwame Ashala. Right, so the brother spoke well the spirit. Get it up for the spirit of the most high Yahweh shot. Right? This is not us, man. Alright, this is not us. This is all the most high and the Mashiach Yahweh shot. God? Yeah. All praise, honor, and glory goes to the most high and the Mashiach Yahweh shot. That's Give me right. Uh. First Corinthians 11 and 3. Give me First Corinthians 11, chapter the third verse. Uh. Alright, all praise, honor, and glory goes to the most high and the Mashiach Yahweh That's right. All right, take them on the side. Take them on the side if you want to, if you want to tell. You're going to ask your question here or you can go on the side, brother. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, give me First Corinthians 11 and 3. All right, so everything is of the most high and the mind. Hey, brother, 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 move it over. Somebody can take them on the side and talk. If not, you can talk here. Right, yeah, if you want to talk, he gets on the side, or you can ask a question here. If you got a question. Okay, right, okay. But if you still want to build, a brother will finish building with you. All right, yeah. All right, let's continue with the good word. First Corinthians 11, 3. Read. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I would have you know. Christ said, I will have you know. Go ahead. That the head of every man is Christ. So Christ is our leader, man. We don't give a damn about any other leader you set up on the earth, any quasi leader. Christ is our leader. Now, does he have men under him to guide the nation of Israel? Yes. But we follow Christ. Christ is our leader. Right. Read it again. But I would have you know. I would have you know. Come on. That the head of every man. The head of every Israelite man. Go ahead. Is, is Christ. Christ. Is who? Is, is Christ. Christ. This is not our own agenda. We didn't wake up this morning and just say, we're going to do what we're going to do. We're going to do what we feel. No. We are guided by the spirit of Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shah. That's right. That's right. The world ignorantly calls God in Christ. So you can say what the hell you want. This is the program of the Lord and his son Christ. Right. You can say whatever the hell you want in the world. We following Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, like the Bible instructs us. Right. Right. All right, come on. And the head of the woman is the man. What the Lord say? And the, the head, head of, of the, the woman, woman is the man. man. Head of the woman is the man, all right, and that's that's hard for you to accept in this society, but you're gonna accept it. That's right. You're gonna accept it, or you're gonna die. That's right. All right, you're gonna die. 
if no one accepts it, you're going to be put to death. Right. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the heavenly power. Right. All right, thus saith the Holy Bible. All right, the hell with your uh, high, what is it, a high value man? Right. Oh, right. uh, yeah, copy on that damn Kevin <laughs> Samuel. Uh, that damn high value man. The hell with you. What value do you bring to the table for you to be a high value woman? Right. All right, but in the kingdom of heaven, your high value is going to be to shut your mouth and keep the commandments of the heavenly father. Right. And be a loving and submissive wife. All right, that's going to be your high value in the kingdom of heaven. Right. We don't want to hear about no goddamn high value. No high value. A uh, 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 man's salary is not doesn't determine his value. All right, give me uh, Proverbs 12 and 8 real quick. All right, Proverbs 12 and 8. Hold what you got. Give me Proverbs 12 and 8. We don't want to hear about no damn high value man. That's right. Because first and foremost, if a man don't put God first, he has no value at all. That's right. That's right. He could be a damn trillionaire. He can be a trillionaire, and if he didn't put the Lord first, he has no value. That's right. All right. Give me Proverbs 12 and 8, brother. Read. Proverbs 12 and 8. Bring it up. A man shall be commanded according to his wisdom. No, it's bank account. According, according to his wisdom. His salary. According, according to his wisdom. His job title. According, according to his wisdom. His money suit. According to his wisdom. His red body. According, according to his wisdom. His Lamborghini. According to his wisdom. His Porsche. According to his wisdom. His seven room mansion. According to his wisdom. The Lord said a man shall be commended according to his wisdom. That's right. That's it. So what is this high value man? All right, go ahead. But he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. The Lord said a man of a perverse heart is going to be despised. You got all that wisdom, but you perverse in heart. And a lot of times money and wickedness go hand in hand. Not necessarily, not all the time, but a lot of times money and wickedness is evil. All right, so stop wanting somebody for some damn money. All right, start wanting somebody for the spirituality that they, they can bring to you. Can you have an hour conversation about the Heavenly Father with this person? Right. A true, a true conversation about the Heavenly Father. Not from no cool Christian aspect either. Can you have a true conversation with this person for an hour about the Heavenly Father? That's your high value. Right, right. Not no damn six figures. The man could be a six figure psycho. Right. <laughs> Not because, ooh, he's a music producer. He made hits. <laughs> yeah, but he had to get hit to make them hits. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Get the hell out of here, man. Uh, Read it again for the top of the Proverbs 12 and 8. Proverbs 12 and 8. Yeah. A man yeah. shall be commended according to his wisdom. The Lord said a man shall be commended according to his wisdom. His wisdom has an understanding of the Bible. Not what he possessed, the material things he has, his money, right. his material possessions. All right, that's not how a man is commended. Right. Nobody give a damn if Diddy comes to the city and throw a party in four hours. So what? All right, Diddy and Ray J and, and Bow Wow, we take it over New York City. We stood, we set up a party in four hours. Right. Got the ballers out here. Right. Got the book, got the Lambos, got the Bentleys. No, no, don't give a damn about none of that, man. Right. 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 And before any of you get simple, we not hating. Oh, you just mad because you can't do that. No, I don't want to do that. Right. Not for the price that they had to pay. That's right. right. Not for the homosexuality and blood sacrifice right. murder that right. they had to commit That's to get right. those Lambos and Bentleys. Please, right. and to be able to come to New York and throw a one million dollar party, they right. have to sell their soul to be able to do all that. Right. 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 Ain't no hate. I ain't hating on wickedness. Hell no. Ain't nobody hating on no wickedness. Right. All right. Uh, the Apostle Paul said, "I'm jealous with a godly jealousy." Right. You want me to be envious or jealous of anything? It's somebody that's keeping the commandments of the Most High and being judged and being blessed. Right. And I ain't going to be uh, envious and jealous in wickedness. I'm going to say, listen, I want that same spirit for the most high. Yeah, I wish I had. Right. That's the only thing we're going to envy in righteousness. Right. 